Hello! Hello, 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 hello. Okay. Woo! Um, theoretically, uh, looks like I'm doubled. Um, theoretically, there is also music going right now. Um, but anyway, hi. Hello. Welcome. Uh, let me know if there is any issues with anything. Welcome to, um, another thing where I do a thing. And here on this thing where I do a thing, um, we are doing a thing. Um, so currently, um, this game still does not have a title, and no one in my Discord suggested a title. Rude. I'm calling out my Discord right now. Hello, Discord? I should, I should... Hey, hello! 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 Oh my gosh, I saw your message on Facebook. That was so sweet. Hi! Oh my gosh! So many lovely people in chat. So many lovely people in chat. Hello. Um, let me know if uh, audio balance is weird. I'm happy to change it. Um, but, uh, yeah, hello. Um, uh, so this game, uh, um, uh, um, please let me know what it should be called. Um, right now it's just, like, generally a game about, so the idea is this is a game about making a sword for your partner? GF? I don't know. Untitled Sword Game. <laughs> you know, I might just go with that. I might just go with that. That's a good placeholder at the very least. That's a good placeholder at the very least. Um, I mean, you definitely don't cause nearly as much havoc. I mean, ideally you cause no havoc in this. Um, but, I mean, that could be changed, but not right now, because I'm hoping to finish this today. And we started it only last week, so this is a very short game-making session. This is a very short game-making session. It really won't depend on how you play. It's a bitsy game. There's not many options. Um, uh, uh anyway... Um, here's, here's what it is so far. Um, I fixed the glitch from last time, so here's what it is so far. There's very little, um, but, you know, that's, that's the name of the game. It's a Bitsy game. Um, so, yeah, Bitsy basic, basically, Bitsy is this, um, so it's, it's, right. Basically, I've only spent three hours, three hours? Three hours making this game so far, and I'm going to spend another three hours, and then it's going to be finished. And the idea is basically what I want to do is just, like, make a game in, like, six hours spread over two weeks, and just like keep doing this over and over and over again. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be this is gonna be a regular Wednesday thing. Um uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. Um so these are gonna be really tiny games. I don't know if they're all gonna be Bitsy or not. Um but Bitsy is just this little tiny game making thing. It's a tool. Um I would highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Um, basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to make games like this that are really simple. So basically what I have here is I just um, made a bunch of little, um, so here um, can switch between rooms. So I made this room and basically all I did is I made these tiles. So like, look, I can click and place these tiles and um, you know, like I can edit all of that. Oh, I did not want to do all of that. Um, and in fact, I, uh, where are my exits? Shit. Um, where are my exits? Where's my exits dialog? Um, so you have different dialogues here, different, like, uh, you know, things like, I don't need my download dialogue. I don't need my colors dialogue right now. I do need my inventory dialogue because that was being useful. My dialogue dialogue, of course. So these are all just like basically game making tools, little UI windows that allow me to do different things with stuff. Um, 
Unlike Unity, I'm barely doing any code here. In fact, I'm doing almost no code. Um, and I should open Borksy right away. Uh, because it's what I'm gonna be using to package everything. Anyway, so okay, my exits are right there. So that's what I thought. All right, so cool, cool, cool. Then I put them in the right place, okay. So, okay, great. So, cool, cool, cool. So, um, yeah, so you just place down a bunch of, you know, different tiles and like, um, different tiles have different functions and you, everything is in little, you know, uh, eight bit style. Um, and uh, runs on pretty simple logic. Um, it all uses JavaScript, pretty much, um, and some other simple logic things, and then you just connect things together. So, like, I have these rooms connected together. Um, oh, yeah, I need to fix that. Um, and then, like, this person has some dialogue, so... Hi, I heard you wanted to make a sword as a gift. This is what we made last time. Who's it for? Ah, I see. I'm sure we can make something that will prove useful for her. We need to pick the metal for the blade, find some wood and leather for the handle, and get glue to hold things together. It also allows you to like color code the different things. Once you find any of those items, bring them back to me, and we can get started. So there we go. So that's the dialogue that you get with that person. Now, here's the thing. What was happening last time is it was just running that dialogue over and over and over again. And I had set up this dialogue tree so that it would change, right? I had, I had set up this dialogue tree here with uh, if else options. So uh, you do use glue on a sword. This is a real thing. I watched so many videos on sword making. I kid you not. <laughs> You do use glue on a sword. I mean, you don't hold it together with sword, but you don't hold it, sorry, you don't hold it together all together with glue, but you do use glue on a sword. This is a real thing. I, I, watching videos on sword making, this is, this is legit. Like you put the, you put the, I mean, it, you, you want them to fit very very tightly so like right so the the blade and the and the piece that's inside the hilt are all one piece of metal right oh gosh i went on such a rabbit hole i went on such a rabbit hole it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun um uh research right okay so the the blade and the 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 piece of metal inside the hilt are all one thing right but then the hilt that the stuff that goes on the hilt over the piece of metal uh which is called the tang is the the tang is the the long piece of metal that's inside the hilt uh the stuff that goes over that um like the guard and the handle and the pommel um are all just on top of the, they're all just basically glued onto the tang um uh so so they all just go on there um but they're also fitted very very tightly so you also want to make sure that that glue has very little place very little space in there um Right. So you want to make sure that the fit is very tight and then you basically just put a bunch of glue on there and then you make sure the fit's very tight and then um, at the end of it, on the other side of the pommel, you do you do hammer it down and, and make sure that it can't, you know, fly off or anything. Um, but, but it is all just glued in place, um, which is really cool, actually. <laughs> like, it makes sense, you know, because they did have, like, natural glues. Um, you know, they've had them for a long time. Anyway. Um, so we have, uh, hello, by the way, lovely to have both of you on here. Um, so, but yes, uh, so that's my sword making, I went down a, quite the rabbit hole. It was a lot of fun. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, uh, um, uh, so, uh, um, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So I so I made if then you know if else statements in this dialogue, right? But it wasn't for some reason last time I, I couldn't. Well, I figured out why, but I but I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't get it to do what it would do. Is it, I would come back to the Smith over here, and I would hit you know 
like talk to the smith again and what i was trying to get to happen is the next time you talk to the smith it doesn't repeat all the same dialogue right because you don't want to have the same intro again like hi and then you walk away and then you come back to the smith you know and, and like like hi i heard you wanted to make a sword you you go through all that dialogue and you walk away like two feet and then you come back for a reminder and the smith is like hi i heard you wanted to make a sword like that just feels completely unnecessary right so i fixed it we're good it was just a matter of managing the variables correctly. It wasn't a glitch. I thought it was a glitch. I thought it was a glitch. It wasn't a glitch. We're good. It was just a matter of managing the variables correctly. It took a little bit of figuring out, but it's all set. We're, we're good now. So now the smooth just skips to this dialogue here. So we need to pick the metal for the blade, find some wood and leather for the handle, and get glued to hold things together. Once you find any of the items, bring them back to me and we can get started. So... Then I also have it set up so that, and I haven't written this dialogue yet, but I also have it set up so that if you have specific variable numbers, then you can jump to other dialogues, which would be like set up for if you get the wood for the handle, or if you get the metal for the blade, or if you get the glue to hold stuff together. You know, you get those specific things that will correspond with the, those will change the, the variables, right? And you come back to the smith with those items. And then it'll be like, the smith will recognize that you have those items, basically, and will be like, oh, I see you've gotten this, right? So the dialogue will change for that, too. That's the idea. Um, so, so, um, so we have those options. Uh, you can do some basic animations. As you can see, the fire down here in the forge is animated. Um, so things I need to do here. I'm going to write this down. So things I have yet to do. Um, so smith, uh, item, a specific dialogue. Um, I need to add, so I need to add that. I need to add spith, item specific dialogue and with, you know, with variables. You know, that has specific variables that go with it. Um, I want to add a, a little, just a little bit. This is quality of life stuff. This is not super important. But I want to add little little bits of dialogue um, to each of these items. So that, see all the white items in here? You can, all these white um, sprites, you can add dialogue to. So so I, I this was me testing the variables. Variable A will now be set to 10. Um, uh, so you can add dialogue to these. Things. So, so I could add a dialogue to this saying, a smith's workbench, it looks stained and, you know, yada, 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 you know, and like the forge, it's very hot, you know, be care, you step back, you know, or something like that, right? So, um, so, uh, smith, the, uh, I, uh, sprite, uh, dialogue. Okay. Um, yeah, like descriptor text, exactly. It's like descriptor text. Yeah, it would, it would, it, functionally it's dialogue, but it would act as descriptor text. Um, yeah. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Um, this doesn't go anywhere yet, um, but I eventually want this to go somewhere. I'm not sure if that's going to come in this version of the game or if I might do that in later, later version. Depends how much time we have today. Probably later version, quite frankly. Um, uh, right now, um, all I can do is, um, make you pick up the wood if it is, uh, white like that, um, just because of the way the color schemes work out. Um, uh, um, uh, it doesn't change your variables yet, so I'm gonna need to change that. Um, item far change. Um... And, um, and I need to place the other items. Um, and, uh, the, the, the problem is, um, getting the items to have other colors besides white right now using this color scheme, um, would involve packaging this with another mod, which I can do, but would take too much time for the time that I have today. Uh, and I do want to finish this today. I'm absolutely down for editing this game later and packaging that up differently. Um, in fact, I think I definitely want to do that at a later time. Um, but, you know, that's like a change, you know, that's an update to it. 
and I think that would be cool. It's a quality of life improvement just to change the color of it to make it look more realistic in that sense. Like, wood would be brown, you know, instead of white. Makes sense. Um, uh, cool. Um, again, right now, uh, this down here doesn't go anywhere, but I want it to. Um, cool, 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 cool. And then we go up here. This is very much not finished, um, as you can see. So, um, finish house. Just We just need to finish the house. Hello, welcome back. Understandable. Sometimes you need to vanish. Um, so the house just needs to be finished. Um, this is theoretically um, the sprite for the girlfriend, but <laughs> right now it's an amorphous blob. Um, so, you know, obviously that needs to change. Um, you can also walk through fire right now. Lol. Um, so obviously the house needs to be finished. Um, and then I need to add girlfriend text. Um, cool. Um, okay. That's it for now. So those are the things that needs to be happening. Okay, time to make things happen. Okay, so let's see. I want to add Smith item specific dialogue. So, um, let's see. Over here we have the Smith dialogue. And so that's over here. And let's see. I can add. That's so right, I have these. Uh, if A is one, then I can add specific dialogue. So um, I think what I'm just gonna do, you know, is add these, um, you know, else ifs. If A is one, else if, else, add. Am I adding a... Yeah. Uh... I want another condition. Cancel. Um, can I copy this? How did I, I'm trying to remember how I made another else if. Also, it feels weird having the dialogue be the last thing on the page. It just, it just feels weird and I'm not sure why. Um, you know, like when you have a UI set up a very specific way for a long time and then you change it and then you're like, what? Um, just feels weird. So, um, okay, so I need to, okay, so I have this if, and then I have this else if. And then I have this else. I need another. Shoot. Add branch, there we go, okay. There we go, variable branch. Yep, okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so we'll put this up one, and we'll add another branch. Variable branch, and we'll put this up one, because we want else to be at the bottom. Okay, so there we go. So now we have a couple else if options. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, 
So here we go. So we say else if a is equal to one, else if a is equal to two, else if a is equal to three, else. Um, let's get one more, add branch, very branch, else if, move that up, else if a is equal to four. So what this will be is if a is equal to one, then that'll be like, so a starts out zero, right? And then a goes up to one as soon as you find, um, hmm. I don't think it, it, it shouldn't, it should matter, right? It doesn't, it's not so much like a, a bar. It's not so much a bar of completion, right? The Smith only should really respond to what you have left to find. That's the thing, right? That's the problem, right? The Smith should respond to what you have left to find. And what we have, what we have on the list is we have metal, wood, and leather. We have metal, wood, leather, glue. So it's four things. Metal, wood, leather, glue. Metal, wood, leather, glue. Right? So if... Right, so if the smith is trying to suss out what you have left, how do we do that with variables? Um, you know, you pick up an item, right? Then that, is there a way to make the components variables instead of just text. Well, they can be variables when you pick them up, right? They can be variables when you pick them up. Sorry, there was a thing up on the camera and it was bothering me. Um, oh, is there a way to make them variables? Oh, I see. Yes. 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 Oh, silly me. Yes. Of course. I don't even need to use A. Yeah. 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 I was just using A. Yeah. 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 I can do all of that. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yes. 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 I can do that. Yes. Okay, items, here we go. This is easy, yes. Yes, here's, here's how we do it. It's right here. It's right here, it's in items. It's, 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 it's simple. So I, I just delete this. This is easy. Okay, add branch, item branch, right? Yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad you think so. Thank you, I appreciate that. I, 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 I like to think so as well. Um, okay, so we need, we need a, a few of these, um, but, uh, um, uh, okay. So I'm just gonna put four of these up here and we're gonna, we're gonna um, have to put some, we're gonna have to put some of those items in the world first to make that work, but that's fine, right? Wood is out there. I need items. Tiki wood. Um, I need another item, and this is gonna be um, glue. Um, I don't know what glue looks like. I'm just gonna make it a bottle, and it's gonna be hilarious, okay? So, <laughs> literally gonna put it um, uh, 
all the way over here. I don't know. Sure. You know, it's temporary, okay? It's temporary. Inventory. It just called that. Um, it's named Glue. Please update yourself. Please update, okay? Please update. Thank you. Update yourself. Okay. Anyway. And then we're gonna add some more things. I did update. Cool, 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 cool. Glue. So that's glue. So wood glue. Wood glue. Leather. Um leather would look like, I don't know, it, it would look like leather, it, it would look like leather straps, it would look like freaking, how do you represent leather with an 8 eight bit square, like, it, it, one, two, three, four, yeah, it is 8 bits, um, it's like a, it's like a, you just kind of go like, I don't know, it's like a sheet, right, if you, if you have a sheet of leather, Right? Kinda. Maybe. There we go, leather. Okay. We'll call that leather. Metal. Um, See, it's like the, the blade without the hilt. I'm just gonna put this over here for now. Uh, it doesn't, that doesn't make any sense and I'm gonna get rid of it, I'm gonna change it. But, you know, it's temporary. This is all temporary. Anyway, okay. Okay, I want that to update, but anyway, we're going to have to see how it does when it updates later. Um, could you, could you update, please? Yes. No? Can you... Yes. Okay, there we go. It updated. Yay, okay. So, so if, um, so if, now here's the problem. Oh no, it goes to the first one that, that is true. First branch whose condition is true. So if A equals zero, do this, okay? Great. And then else if wood is zero, right? Then this. Else if glue is zero, then this. Else if leather is zero, then this. Else if metal is zero, then this. And here's the problem. You can't check for multiples, can you? Item branch. 
I can't check for multiple variables, right? So if you want to check which variable you don't have, well, it doesn't have Boolean logic built in. It doesn't have built Boolean logic built in. I can hack in Boolean logic, but again, time. Yeah. Yeah. Bitsy is limited. It's the people who have added stuff onto it that have made it freaking amazing. Right? Which is how I did, you know, stuff like that, the other game that I made. Right? Again, it's all in the hacks. It's all in the hacks. Mmm. No, doesn't look like it. Oh, wait. Maybe. No, wait. No. No. No, that would be a hack thing. Which is fine. I think what I'll do is I'll just I'll just adjust the dialogue a bit. So I'll just make it so that the, the Smith will say like Looks like you still don't have this. Why don't you try grabbing it? You know? It looks like you still don't have that. Why don't you try looking for it, you know? And like give you maybe some subtle hints as to where it might be. You know, something like that. Um, which is fine. It should be enough. Um uh it's meant to be a short game. It's meant to be a small game. It does. It's not meant to be super complex. So, right. This is meant to be. It's something I'm building in six hours. Um, I see you still don't have the wood for the handle. Perhaps you could try searching the forest nearby. Yeah, something like that, right? We're going to need some glue to clue clue glue to hold the um a handle to the tang. properly. Um, where do natural glues come from? Natural glues. Yeah, uh, no, like natural, natural Yes. How to make natural glue at home. Thank you. This is what I want to know. Uh, yes. How to make glue after the apocalypse, please. Sugar, flour, water. You know, that makes a lot of sense, actually. ceramics, glass, or porcelain. No, I want to know what the best glue, best glue, best, best ancient glue, ancient, best historic 
glue. I want to know what the best historic glue. Like history of glue. History of glue. Glue history. Uh, yeah, animal glues. Mortar. Egg-based adhesive. Fish-based glues. Tar-based glues. Right, 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 right. Hmm. Okay, so the question is, do we want it to be... Um, wait, what did, what did it say? I already forgot. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, I feel like either way it would just be like in a bowl, right? It would just be in a bowl around the... It would be around the... It would be around the place. Or maybe it could be like, go get some glue from the alchemist or something like that. I ran out and need some from the alchemist. Who? From the alchemist. We'll have to make an alchemist then. Dang it. Um, uh, that's okay, I can do that. Um, um, without leather, the handle for the sword will be terribly rough. I'd recommend you find something from home. I'd recommend, uh, or perhaps, perhaps you have yes. Oh. Yo! Yo! Thank you! Thank you! Yes! Thank you! I need more. Um, um, freaking brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I love that. Ah, that's so good. That's so good. That's so good. Also, that, ooh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, Yes. Now there is character. Now there is character. Um. Um. Tea. 
Unless we do need tea, but that's a whole different thing. Um, Okay, cool. So... Now I do need to add a branch here that's a variable branch, else if a equals zero wood, leather, glue, come on, wood, zero, wood, leather, glue, metal, it's four, right, four, okay. A equals four. Okay. Then it looks like we have everything we need. Time to get to work. Okay, so this is then um all right. So what'll happen is every time you pick up an item. A will increase by one. Okay. So I need to make sure that that happens. Um, ba, ba, ba. So add item and variable actions, set variable value, or no wait, I want this gone. Add item of variable actions. Increase change variable A equals A plus one. There we go. That's what I want. And then I want to do the same. Dialogue. Some glue used for book binding. Perhaps it could also serve Another purpose? Add item variable, change variable value, A equals A plus one. Sweet. All right. Leather. Um. Drying leather. Ready for ready for our leather uh, dry uh, leather leather ready for use um, a piece of leather of stretched leather ready for use as ready for use. It's her favorite uh, color to use as a book cover. T 
type. Some metal. I don't know. Some metal <laughs> that you found somehow. <laughs> Let's work on this. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So there we go. Let's test all this. Okay, so theoretically, what should happen now is. Uh, Smith item specific dialogue. So yes, the, each item has specific dialogue um, uh, And the items change the variables Okay, and the items have been placed but not in their final places that'll have to change. So anyway Okay, cool. So theoretically what will happen right now is if I go around and get all the items and then come back to the Smith each time as I come back with the item there'll be specific dialogue and then when I get all the items and come back to the Smith there will be a final dialogue as well. So, let's see if this works. So, hi, I heard you wanted to make a sword as a gift. Who is it for? Ah, I see. I'm sure we can make something that will prove useful for her. We need to pick the metal for the blade, find some wood and leather for the handle, and get glue to hold things together. Once you find any of those items, bring them back to me. And we can get started. What happened to the music? Looks like it's changing. Strange. Okay, whatever. Um, um, okay, cool. So now if we talk to the smith again, I see you still don't have the wood for the handle. Perhaps you could try searching the forest nearby. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. Wood for the handle. Some wood you can use for a handle. Still need to change that bit so that you don't just flip back and forth between the two screens, but okay. We're gonna need some glue to hold the handle to the tang properly. Anyway, I ran out and need more. I should move the place here so it's not at the smith's place and it's instead at your place but you know whatever some glues for bookbinding perhaps it could also serve another purpose okay cool, cool, cool. Yep. that all this has changed but okay without leather the handle for the sword will be terribly rough perhaps you have some of your own going well so far Fetch quest. A piece of stretch leather ready for use. It's her favorite type to use as a book cover. I have plenty of metals in my shop that we could use, but for a special gift like this. Did you want a special metal too? Why yes, I did. And look, I just found one in the woods. Strange. I don't know, some metal that you found somehow. Let's work on this. Uh, let's see if the final text triggers. No! No! Oh, I know why I didn't. 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 Know why I didn't. Okay, that's fine. I know why it didn't work. I know why it didn't work. I know why it didn't work. It's because at the end of the Smith dialogue, I still have this. I still set A equals five. That's why. I bet it'll work now. Right. So if I go to the Smith, skip through this dialogue, 
Alright, I'm gonna go get all the things. Just gonna go get all the things. Oh god. Uh, god, yeah, that's bad. I need to only have one exit. Because otherwise that's just bad. Yeah, if I just go get all the things, I bet you the smith will have the proper final dialogue. Untitled Zerg game, any percent. It looks like we have everything we need. Time to get to work. Boom. Stop. Game over. And that's time. Any percent. <laughs> Did it. It's a new world record, everyone. Um, actually, it was faster when the game was shorter, but, you know. It was also incomplete, so. <laughs> um, it's not complete yet right now, either. You still have to make the sword and then get it back to your partner. Um, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I had a really good time. I'm, I'm really thankful to all, you know, all the people that supported me through all this. Um, whew, man, that was, that last bit was really rough. Got stuck a little bit there on the, on that one glitch, but... Oh, you know, I felt good about this one. I felt good about this one. All right, cool. So, um, things I want to do here. Um, I think most importantly is just, just making this room because this room sucks right now. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. So let's make this, please. Okay. find the other fire sprites I have here. There we go. Stove two, and let's get a stove three. Honestly.
There we go. Eh, it's weird. I don't care. Okay, um... So we gotta make this this lovely person a person who does book binding and such. be set up and everything. Is the floor way too much? Probably. Is the floor way too much? I feel like it might be way too much. I was kind of proud of it and like tiling it because it is like you know like two different sets of things but i think it might be way too much um oof, getting tired of that on my ear um it might just be way too much um which is fine um you know, that is how that works sometimes, right? Sometimes it's just too much. As is said, right? Sometimes it's just too much of a good thing, you know? Um, and maybe that's just, you know, not what I want. I think that might just not be what I want in terms of the floor. Um, um, so, okay, what do I want? Um, Just trying to think like who this character is now, you know, and like who, like who 
You know, because because we know the story generally of this, right? You're this person going to make their girlfriend a sword. But why? I mean, why not? But why? And does the girlfriend know about this? And the girlfriend is apparently a bookmaker. Awesome, by the way. Right? And does the girlfriend need the sword? Want the sword? Need the sword? Maybe. Maybe. That would be cool. Okay. Present aspiring bard in an eight by eight. I don't know, right? It's like that's as good as any, but it's more the dialogue really that'll do it. You know, perhaps it is. Perhaps it is. Perhaps it is. Perhaps in this world. Ooh. Huh. Huh. Okay, no, 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 no. I like that. I like that. Um. Okay. If that's the case, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna, um. Just do a little bit of a, a redesign here. Which kind of wanting bit, wanting to do a little bit. We're just gonna move this all back from the road a bit and change it. In that case, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... It's a small place like this, then... We can actually do this... Well, no.
Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna put, so there's this amazing uh, look in, um, I don't know if anyone uh, here has ever read, uh, there's this comic that I love. Um, big fan of web comics. I'm a big fan of web comics. Ah, dang it, did not mean to press that button. I hate it when that happens. Delete. Yes. Delete. Yes. Delete. Yes. Um, so, um, there's this web comic called Necropolis. Don't know if anyone here has ever read it. It's fantastic. I cannot recommend it enough. In fact, uh, not a large portion, but um, some of the, um, some of the, uh, stuff in my own, I want to say upcoming, but also you and I and everyone else know it's going to be a while, um, comic. Uh, anyway, some of the, a, a fair amount of the stuff in, in my own comic, um, is inspired by it, um, um, because it's fantastic. And um, one of the things that's really cool about it is uh, there's this thing that um, happens, um, which is that um, uh, let's add this tile, and this tile is going to be um, dirt floor. And I just want to get like, um, I don't know, can I just do this? Will that be too distracting? Too regular? Probably.
um, what do I say? Necropolis. So there's this thing in Necropolis where um, the uh, um, the protagonist uh, um, uh, for a while um, her uh, um, her house. Um, uh, she, uh, she, um, her house, uh, she, she builds a fence out of swords. It's great. Is that an adequate dirt floor? I, that's gonna be good enough for him. That's gonna be good enough for him. So it's it's really cool. You should check out Necropolis. It's great. It's a good webcomic. Anyway, I'm gonna do the same thing. Is what I'm trying to say. We're gonna have a fence made out of swords. did want to have something akin to that. Um, <clears throat> dang it, that happens every time. Um, that stove area that I had. Um, just didn't want it as invasive. last time something like that maybe you know it's just it's just got to be a stack of stones Right.
There we go. That's like more what I want. Oops. Uh, I wish there was an undo button. There's not. I wish, I wish. More than life, more than anything. There we go. <clears throat> a little fire in the corner. And the bed and the book thing. And then um, we also have somewhere is like the book, the storage cabinets. There we go. Cabinet one. Cabinet two. Cabinet two, cabinet one. There we go. And then um, what I need is um, see now that like actually looks like a house now, kind of. Um, and now um, what I want is some little um, plants. So this is garden. Um, flip-flop this
we go. It's a little garden. Look at the little garden. Okay, there we go. Ta-da, little garden, yay. Okay, anyway, and so there's a little garden. And now we need sword fence one. Okay. And this is where we get some fun stuff. Um, Sword fence because that's just just SF is easier. Just pixel art at this point. I feel like so. <laughs> Although bringing a sword to your sword GF, who's now defending the books, right? The defender of books implies that there are a lot of people that attack books, which is interesting. There must be like a trap door in this house to like all the books. I think that's what we need. I'm gonna add a trap door. Trap door. There's gonna be a trap door. Okay. Like, where are all the books hidden? You know, this is a small house. We gotta have a place where all the books are. Um, this is definitely expansion material, right? This is not base game material, this is DLC. But like, 
expansion material, you go into the trapdoor and you like see the library and like it's huge, you know? And like you've known this, but like it's huge. Um, nah, you know what, nah, it's not, it, it's not that, it, it can't be that, it's gotta be, Yeah, it is really coming together. No, I, I like it. Problem is, I only have a very limited time and it needs to come together faster. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, that'll do. That's a trapdoor. It's a trapdoor. Just believe me when I say it's a trapdoor. So there we go. So there's the trapdoor. Um, and this is where this comes in handy. There we go. GF is here. Actually, yeah, I'm going to say, here's what I'm going to do. Um, no, we're not going to have any animation. No, no, no animation. I'm not doing an animation. That's not what I'm trying to do. Thanks. So that's the GF there. Yeah, this house is really coming together. Okay, cool, 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 cool. SF. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, SF. SF1, SF2, SF3. Um, five. Okay. I think I can start sort of um, mix and matching the ones that I already have at this point.
Um, as long as I connect them. Right. Cool, 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 cool. So, okay, cool. So, oh, but the problem with sprites is I cannot use them twice. So I'm just gonna have to keep building them and keep copying them. That's okay. Um, it's okay. So we're gonna copy this and SF9, I think. We need another massive sword. You always want another massive sword, right? Am I right or am I right? Copy SF11. Go and let's change it up by, you know, literally changing the side. Not that hard. Alright. SF12, SF12 is going to go here, and it's just going to be a cap to these, and finish off that, okay. sword fence. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where else do we need caps? We need a cap there. Alright, so let's duplicate SF14. Let's move this cap over here. Okay. Duplicate SF15, put this and get that there. And let's also come in, where are you? Here, I think. Yep. Add another one in there. Why not? Right? <clears throat> or not there. Doesn't look good there. Another one right here. Okay. And do like that. Put that here. SF sixteen. There we go. 
Duplicate, SF-19, almost done with this sword. Fence, I swear, we are getting close. Thank you for your patience with the sword, Vince. I think it's looking pretty cool, though. <clears throat> you know, it gives a, a good impression, right? Duplicate. SF twenty Okay. There we go. A sword fence. Okay. <laughs> I just I just made that. Um cool. Is there anything else I need on here? Not really. That looks good. That looks good. Um I think maybe some of these long ones, like I could taper the stubby big one in a little bit. But other than that, yeah, that's fine. This is good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Um, item stuff. Uh, so that's the house. The house is finished. There we go. It looks good. Bah. Um, okay. Um, the items need to be placed. Uh, the smith I need sprite dialogues for the smith. So the smithy. I need dialogue for the items in here. Okay. So let's get the sprites. Let's get these workbenches and all that jazz. Let's give these items dialogues. So. Dialogue. No, no, no. No setting that thing to 10. Let's just give this flavor text. So, um, I don't know. Something simple. Um, something simple like... Like freaking, uh, you know, uh, the smiths. Um, Finn the smiths workbench. It is worn with use and stained by um, by uh, by acid and stained by acid. It is worn with use and stained by acid. Still quite sturdy, but still quite sturdy. Okay, so we're just gonna copy that word for word and go to workbench two and put that in the dialogue. Okay, and then forge one. Let's get this in dialogue. Dialogue. 
Um, let's give the dia forge some dialogue. Um, I don't know flavor text. What's the flavor text for a forge? Um. Though the warmth may be inviting from a distance, this forge is really quite hot. You might want to wait until you're ready to make something before getting too close. Okay. Uh, a water, water used in a bu water in a bucket, large barrel, water in a large barrel, used to cool items after heat. Treatment. Treatment. The smith, uh, anvil, the smith symbol, uh, um, oh wait, no, I should, um, water and barrel used to cool items after heat treatment. You can see your reflection. Um, uh, Hair caught, hair messed from adventuring. There we go. Anvil. Um, uh, the ringing of hammer on anvil is what drew you to Finn's forge many years ago. We've been friends since then. Um, large sharpening wheel with different I don't know how um, sharpening wheels used to work, historically speaking. Large sharpening wheel. Um. For taking off the roughest parts of the Metal. Um, 
wanted to sharpen it over taking off the roughest parts of the metal. Um, Trying to give some flavor text to all this. Okay, so cool. That's the items in the Smith. Flavor text for all of them. Okay. Now what I need is the girlfriend text, and I need to place the items. Here is the thing. Okay, so let's see the wood. Oh gosh, I took the bits from the trees, didn't I? Ha 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 ha! Lol, oh my gosh, when I took the tree, I forgot this tree was made of sprites, so I took the pieces from the tree. Amazing, okay. Shit. Well, that's funny. Uh, okay, well, I'll... Fuck, I'll have to fix that. But... Shit, this looks good. This scene looks good. Okay, I have to fix that. Ugh, I hate that button. Um, I should item um sprite look up um tree top, okay. Which one has its core missing? I don't know. I don't know which one has its core missing. No. 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 Yeah, well, I just swapped it around.
Okay, it was 25. Yep. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Okay, cool. So that fixes all the trees. All the dialogue is done. Um, all I need is girlfriend dialogue and I need to place those items. Okay, so. <laughs> so items, item, item, item. Um, let's just go ahead and delete the tea as much as I love it. Don't need it. And the wood right now is... to me more wonderful as well. Thank you for joining. Appreciate it. Um, okay, let's see. Thanks for being here. Make sure you're following if you're not already. Please follow, appreciate it. It helps me out. Also, we'll have a hundred follower pizza party. When we get a hundred followers. But I'm pretty sure you are. I don't know. Thanks for being on here.
Yeah, okay, that looks better, honestly. Um, okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, don't know why it wasn't making noise. Um, okay. Is it allowing me to put it in multiple places? I don't want it in multiple places. Okay, there we go. And then what I want... Is I actually want another room. Okay, so here's the way I think this could be done. Um, There's two ways we could do this. I think this will work actually really well. Right? There's metal and then there's metal. There's two items named metal. And that works fine. You can do that. And they have two different sprites, but they're both metal. Right? So if you go over to this fence, and you go like, I'm gonna pry loose the one that's that's over here, right? You can pick that up and you can go like, this is metal and you take it back. Um, My 
I think what we want then is we want this to say something. Or we can just have her say something. Um, we can have her say something. Simple as this. So we say, um, cancel. We go lists, branching list. Now, if uh, yeah, yeah. branch, item branch. Um, add branch, default branch, wait, what, no, delete, add branch, item branch, if, if, um, metal in inventory is equal to zero, then oh, it's not letting me select the, the thing, but maybe that'll work. If metal in inventory is equal to zero, then she says, um, did you know, did you see the newest sword I added to the fence. I'm not sure that it all the way on the left when you come in. I'm not sure that it fits in with the rest. I love the pattern. I love the I love the color of the steel that shows underneath the rust. Underneath the nicks in the blade. There we go. Okay. Else if, um, Else if, uh, that branch, come on, item branch. Why is it not letting me do that? Okay, fine. Else if, um, glue in inventory is zero, then... If Finn ever needs Lou again, tell him but my book binding glue works just fine on swords. I'm more than happy to keep making extra. Item branch, else if leather in inventory is zero, then um, I 
Actually, I don't think she's gonna say anything about the letter. Else. of yours I could carry with me. But I have to pack a light. I have to pack a light. I wish I could wish I could I wish I could, I wish I could, could bring you with me. I wish I could bring you with me, but... Um, but people will do anything to get the information in these books. People will do anything to get the information in these books. What is in these books? <laughs> we won't know. People will do anything to get the information in these books. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. So, theoretically... Um, so what I want to do now is... Um... You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't think it needs to be there. I think I found a, an elegant solution to the metal problem. I, I want to have another one later, um, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of that. I wanna have another one later where, where you do go to another room. For now, meh, you know? Um, for now, I think we're good. So that's that. Um, so that's that. Uh, so that's the placement of items. Done. Um, the next thing that needs to happen, and the last thing that needs to happen, is the forging of the sword itself, and then the taking of the sword to the girlfriend. And then that's it. And then that's the game, right? That's the game. That's it. That's that's the game. This is cool. It's 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 all coming together. It's almost done. It's almost done. This is cool. You're like following the clues to 
to the different things. Now, the metal being the, the most difficult thing. Um, it's a fetch quest. It's a, a very short fetch quest. It's a cute little fetch quest. Um, but it tells a little story. It's fun. Um, yeah. Um, I do need a better title than Untitled Sword Game. Please. I love it, but also I don't think it's very descriptive. <laughs> um, so, something else? Um, anyway. Uh, okay, so I need... Um, I need to... I mean, it'd be nice if I had flavor text for things in this place, but I don't have that right now. That's fine. Um, um, what we need to do now is forge the sword. Um, uh, so... Um... I mean, I think, you know, uh, we need a, we need, so we need a, um, looks like we have everything we need, time to get to work. Um, Oh, interesting. Um, add, um, you know, ideally what I would want is like, I think what needs to happen is I need to put in a hack here. So we're gonna put in a hack. That's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna go to um, ba 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 Basically what I want is I want 
right? I don't think I'm going to be able to actually go through the process of making the sword, right? Because making the sprite move is a whole heap of code. Like making Finn move with you to each separate station, whole heap of code. Could do it, know how to do it, whole heap of code, right? Don't want to do that. So I think what would be easier is basically a cut to black, cut back, right? So cut to black, cut back to make it like, you know, half, you know, one half hour, you know, one hour later, a sword is made. Well, actually more like four hours later, you know, something like that, right? A sword is made, you know, and then you have a sword and ta-da, there's a sword. And now you, you go, you know, just like your inventory updates, Pow, you know, right? Um, uh, because that's really the more interesting part is the is the moving around and seeing all the where the stuff is right um not the making of the sword because uh, you're not here for the making of the sword you're here for the giving of the sword and for the finding of the stuff for the sword that's the more interesting stuff and for the like sussing out of the story behind the stuff so um right so uh, that's what I want to do. I want to basically cut to black, cut back. Um, is there any way I can do that? Um, I, I, that, that's what I don't know. I'm kind of wondering about that. I thought there was a way to do that, but now I'm having a hard time figuring out if I can do that. Because if I can cut to black, cut back, time to get to work. Okay, so then time to get to work, right? And then all I need to do here, right, is, you know, dialogue page break, right? That's where I'll cut to back, cut, cut to black, cut back. And then, here we go. It's all finished. It's all finished. Here we go, it's all finished. Here we go, it's all finished. Um. I'd say this is, is some of my finest work. Thank you for helping. Thank you for helping. All right. So cool. Um, and then, and then I would say here's what we do is then we go, okay. Item and variable actions. So then we go, um, set item count, and then we go, um, wood in inventory equals zero. Oh, no, wait, I don't care about that. I only care about sword equals one, actually, right? Only care about sword equals one. That's all I care about. Yep. Okay. Okay. And then, what am we also gonna do? So I'm gonna go over here and we'll go look through sprites, and we're gonna say, yep, but um, and we're gonna say if. Add, cancel, we're gonna add a condition, add a branch, add a branch, else if sword in inventory equals one, then
You made this? For me? What? Um. Oh. Okay. Wow, it's it's beautiful. Um So we're just gonna skip the cut to black, cut black for this particular moment and test everything. And then I need to go. And I'm just gonna install the cut to black, cut black and wrap this whole thing up and publish it in between now and next week. We need to pick the metal for the blade, the wood and leather for the handle and get glue to hold things together. Once you find any of those items, bring them back to me, we can get started. Okay, so we have some... Finn is at his most focused when sitting here. We have some flavor text. When she started giving him books, he decided to make a reading nook and declared he needed a new inside chair as well. You can see your reflection in the water, hair messed from adventuring. We've been friends since then. You might want to wait until you're ready to make something before getting too close. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I already talked to you, Finn. What happened? What happened? Oh, it's set to zero. Shoot. A equals zero. We need to set a equal to one at the end of it. And then say if this is a equals five. There we go. I knew we were messing something. Set, no, not item count. Add item and variable actions. Set variable value A equals one. All right, there we go. Oh, am I still playing? Shoot, it won't save those changes. Hate how it does that, okay. A equals one. Or did it? A equals one, and then A equals five. 
Hey, it saved it. Okay. Maybe because I didn't click away. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. So, hi. All that stuff. Okay. Let's make sure it still does the right thing. Shoot! No! Stop. What? Why are you doing that? A has to be equal zero. You set A equal to one. This is the same problem we had before. Item and variable actions. Set variable value. A equals one. Okay. If A is equal to zero, then do that. But A is not equal to zero now. A should be equal to one. If A is equal to five. Okay. Whew. Good, 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 good. I wonder if it has a problem with, like, just having the same dialogue twice in a row if you don't see another dialogue in between. No, okay, good. Good, it figured it out. I think I might have just had something set wrong. Okay, so we can go get the wood... To change the exit point on that. That's just a glitch editing. Did you see the new sword I added to the fence? All the way on the left when you come in. I'm not sure that it fits in with the rest, but I love the color of the steel that it shows underneath when the underneath the nicks in the blade. I need to add text to that. Oh. Okay, I gotta go. Okay. Some glue, some leather. And then you exit. And then... Oh, I don't have the specific metal. I think it has different variables. Alright, so I'm not going to be able to finish it. Rip, but hopefully it works. Anyway. I have to save it and go, um, so I'm going to end the music. I have to leave. I'm going to finalize all this. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm going to finalize all this and wrap it up and hopefully publish this before next week. Um, next week, we will play the finished game and start a new one. So um, thank you for having me. or Thank you for having me. This is my stream. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you and have a great day. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Um, I'll be streaming again probably on Sunday or maybe Saturday. Um, maybe. Oh, gosh. This weekend is like Thanksgiving stuff. So I don't know. We'll see about that. But um, either way, doing something, I'll keep everyone updated. Um, have a great day. Stay awesome. Stay queer. Stay nerdy. Stay queer. And... Um, Truly do as it were. So, yeah. Bye bye.